My name is Corazon. Uh, people call me Baby. I come from the Philippines. And, and what I'd like to share is uh, my immediate past was working in government as a Minister for Social Welfare and Development, coming in with the Aquino administration. There was a high distrust in government because of the immediate leadership that we had. And one of the things that I was going to implement was the conditional cash transfer so that we can ensure education for poor families and health. Uh, conditional cash transfer means we provide an incentive to keep children in school and to keep them healthy. But because of the high distrust of the population to government, that was one thing we had to deal with. And the bureaucracy who was not convinced that we should be putting in money into the hands of poor people because they believe that the poor people will gamble it away, they will not use it wisely, they don't trust the people too. And so this is the experience where Peggy and I have been working together since 1989 and uh, bridging leadership was one of the things that we worked on together. So using that tool, the first thing that I thought was very important to build trust was to go and listen to the poor people who distrusted government. So I spent close to six months just going around the country listening to why they distrust the, the government. What was it that they were disappointed about? At the same time, I was also talking to the bureaucracy. And these are the middle level people of government who also distrusted the poor because that's mainly the kind of thing that they think that the poor people will not use it wisely. And I keep listening to them and telling them the stories that I heard from the poor people, that they can use the money well. In fact, they can save the money, part of what will be given. And that whole building trust between and among ourselves, even the own, my own bureaucracy that I had to convince that we can do this well, was really all about listening to their fears and then working on getting over the fear by getting in touch with themselves. And those sessions, I thought, really helped. And before I left, 4.4 million families were being served well by the bureaucracy, <clears throat> organized into groups, and parent leaders were the ones implementing it. So it works, and it works in a massive way. But patience, and a lot of listening has to happen.